Hello! Today I'm going to talk about the basics how to make hominy, also known as Lycorn. So, unfortunately due to a thunderstorm we won't be using the wood ash today. Here's the wood ash. I, it was all nice and fluffy. Unfortunately we had a thunderstorm. So this is pretty much useless for us at this point in time because most of the lye that would be in that ash is probably already washed away. However, there is a second way to make lye corn using baking soda. Uh, I'm not promoting the brand, but any baking soda will do. So I'm going to essentially tell you how to make field corn into hominy. So just to give you an example, that's unsoaked. Of course you're going to soak this for about 72 hours. And here is soaked. So this is dry, this is soaked for 72 hours. Then you rinse it a few times. You'll rinse it a few times to get out the little stray pieces of corn gunk, I guess you could say. Corn gunk, or you can take it right from the husk. Um, if you look over here, look over here, it's already in the pot. It's been boiling for a while. Take it off and use this. I've already dropped one of these today. So there we go. Now the gunk that you see here, that's all the stuff you're trying to get off the corn. I'll try to pull one of these out and not get burnt. Just to show you. Now on the corn. On the corn there's this hard outer layer and essentially what you're doing with the lye or baking soda is you're softening it up and getting it off. Then this little pot I used about a quarter, quarter of that box of baking soda. As you can see all this stuff around the outside, that's all the husks that's coming off. So we'll set that back on to boil away. Here's all the husks. Here's a big clump of it. Um, you're, don't worry about what it looks like too much right now. You are going to wash and strain this. Um, the water will get quite dark and brown. That's just from the acid that you've created. And it's eating the outer layer of the corn off. I had it boil over on me too. You have to watch it for that. So a few tips is make sure you use a stainless steel stainless steel container to do this. This has been on for this has been on for almost almost an hour now. I would say about two hours, two to three hours, and you'd be done into this stage. But it'd be the wet version, so it'd be this. And then from here you can put it in bags like this and freeze it or you can put it on racks and re-dry it for later use. This stores a lot longer than this. So essentially, essentially it's really easy. <coughs> essentially it's really easy to do. I do recommend doing this outside as it does make does make mess and if you don't have anything but an aluminum pot I caution it using it inside because acid and aluminum make a gas that is toxic so try to use stainless steel if you're going to do this stainless steel is the best and if you don't have anything make you make a fire and cook it on a fire then you can use the aluminum pot just don't breathe the gas that would be coming off of it. So yeah, it's a pretty pretty neat process. I'll just show you here. If you 
just add your baking soda to it let it cook it'll bubble away and that's from your dry you dry then you soak it 72 hours your 72 hour corn will go in the pot with the baking soda then your baking soda you leave it about two hours cooking it stirring it occasionally this will go really dark at first this will go like super dark the darkest orange you've ever seen then it'll start lightening up again that means the the hard layer that, it's hard to show you here this, this hard layer it slowly dissolves off I'll grab one of these again show you what you're getting off it's a uh, I guess it is easier to buy and let somebody else worry about all this but this is just in case you guys want to try to make it yourself it's safe you can use any corn wood ash can be done you just have to rinse it well uh, baking soda is the same you just rinse it well and this outside layer comes off really easy like as you see as you see that outside layer is peeling off really good and that's what you're trying to get off is this this little layery stuff and once that off once that off it will lighten up it'll be more to this stage then if you keep on cooking it it'll even swell to double this size but when you redry it it'll go back down to this from this it lasts a lot longer this lasts pretty much indefinite as long as you don't have insects or that go in it this lasts in the freezer and can get a taste within probably six months or so 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 if you have a large drying rack it is worth redrying and yeah I don't know what else to explain about this uh, you can always use the video on you can always use the video that we made for salt pork and make corn soup. So, really hope you enjoy. Um, this is the basics of it. So you just follow this. It cooks for about two to three hours, I would say. Two to three hours. I've only had it on about an hour when I started this. This is soaked for 72 hours. No more than 72 hours. Um, then you just, all you do is once it's cooked, you put it in a strainer and you start rinsing it and if you have to pick up each kernel by itself to leave some of the leave some of the impurities and yeah you well on your way to making corn soup enjoy